How long ago was The Other Last of Us? That was last year. I mean, 2023. I feel like uh, Pedro you know, Pascal made like 20 movies. That's, in the what, that's another thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this series, I mean, you can tell from the first season of it that, you know, a lot has gone into it. You know, the world yeah. building, the effects. I mean, it, it's not something that you can sort of just churn out. It's it's there's a, it's a huge budget. And we're talking about The Last of Us. Uh, the season two uh, teaser trailer was just released. And we're excited to take a look. We loved the first season. And uh, season two is coming out sometime in 2025. We don't have a release date, but we, you know, we know the teaser trailer here is in late September. So um, I'm excited. Pedro Pascal, of course, uh, Bella Ramsey as yeah, Ellie, good. and then a new character, Abby. Who I, Kathy, was she in the, the second iteration of the of the game? Abby. It, it depends. You know? There's two characters that they could, she could be um, uh, part of. It depends on whether she's in the first game or the second game. Okay. So I'm not sure where they um, are going to pick up. I'm hoping that it's still in the first game, if we're lucky, because then, you know, it won't like be as traumatic. But yeah. Also, I feel like I want the show to keep going. If they're if they're trying to keep up with the games, we're going to get two seasons. It's going to be done. So I'm hoping right. they're going to drag it out a little bit and fill in some blanks here and there because well, the I game like is a lot. Taking some chances with this idea. I mean, we've all seen a million zombie stories and post apocalyptic people wandering through the ruined yeah. world. That, that kind of story. And I like that they that they've they're doing it and i'm excited to see it i'm not like oh people being chased down the middle of the street by right. a bunch of zombies yeah but this one this show i don't know i haven't played the game so i don't know how much of the vibe feels like the game or whatever but i love how they would just sort of take some chances they did that you know mm -hmm. that that one episode about people who that we'd never met before here's some yeah. new people and a few other aspects of the world that are a little bit different than the typical yeah. zombie movie. You care yeah. about the characters. Yeah. And it does. It does say here that the second season is based on the second game part two. Oh, okay. Oh, good Lord. That's so, not good. That's yeah. not good. Okay. So yeah. one thing too, I played the, I played sort of played both games. I played the first game. My most, probably my most favorite games ever. It was beautiful world building. Like Burke was talking about, we spent an entire episode with a character that's basically kind of just a, check-in character in right. the game like you don't really know a lot about him he's a character you know who he is but you never really knew much about him so not only was it great to see this character filled out it's just how they did it was probably some of those glorious amazing tv i've ever seen so they yeah. did that which was great we're all talking about episode three <laughs> yeah episode three with nick offerman nick, and nick uh, offerman of course anything so that good. guy touches is just you know gold i think he's so he's good a, a so fantastic presence yeah, so the 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 trauma of the second game, I couldn't finish it. So really? I, I quit playing it. I, I was very mad. I was very upset. And every time I see something about the, the games, I think about the terrible decisions they made in that second game. Oh. So not happy about that. Oh, oh. yeah, because it, it takes place. Season two takes place five years after the events of the first season. So, oh, well, Kathy, before we saw this, <laughs> before we see the teaser, is the, the trauma was because they made bad decisions, or was it just harrowing, or why did you stop the game, or was it just bad decisions, execution of the bad decisions, terrible creative idea, and then to wow. continue the game in a way that I I did not like, and I just didn't. But you know, the thing is, I can't really speak to it really because I didn't finish it. I, I was so traumatized. So I was like, ah, so I did not like that. So now I'm dreading season two. I'm just like, oh. so let's see. Let's see if season two looks like it's going to, if the terrible things are going to happen or they will improve on the terrible decisions that they made in game two. And anyone feel free in the comments to disagree or tell me why I'm wrong or if you agree. But I would think <laughs> that Anyone who's played the second game will are they're dreading this season just like I am. Wow. <laughs> just, well, that can do it though. That can really take you out of a story. I mean, I remember watching um, The Walking Dead, and you know, it's it was kind of fun and sort of a mind. I always used to compare it to NASCAR. Yeah. You know, you're watching the cars go around and around and around the track, and secretly you're only waiting for the the car crash. You know, oh. from people, but. <laughs> Or something to happen, you know, cars to hit each other. You know, you're waiting. Yeah. It's like the cars just go around and around and around the same track over and over. <laughs> and that's the way I felt with Walking Dead. It was like, oh, it got to where like 
can't anything different or unusual or interesting happen? <laughs> they in this get world? out of Gwinnett, Gwinnett County, for God's sake. Yeah, more pine trees. <laughs> and well, I could see, like you know, it's hard to be on the move in a situation like that because, and it's the same in Last of Us, is that every time you pick up and move on, you don't know what you're going to encounter, you don't know the people you're going to encounter. Like it's all new. You don't know the politics. You don't know like. Am I safe here? Are the people going right. to be nice? Like, there's always a massive threat or you know danger to moving along. But I also got the feeling with Walking Dead that they were killing beloved characters just to get an effect, you know, just to get your to, to, to get going. you to be still harrowed and harrowing and and like oh my god, you know. And I saw and I always talk about this. I saw an interview with the show's creator where he said he really liked messing with people. And I just thought that's not I, that's not the kind of show I want to watch. I felt I, I well, got the impression that I was being messed with. You know what at I mean? At the same time, I feel like there is sort of a a passiveness when you watch a lot of horror properties, especially something like these. The, you know, this is based on a game. Walking Dead is based on a, a graphic novel. It's like they're sort of the sit back and you're feeling safe because you know who's going to live or die. You know, they're going right. to the main character. So I actually appreciate if they're going to do something terrible to main characters because it's a shock, you know, it's like, whoa. And you feel like nothing's safe and you, you, you feel genuine fear or dismay or whatever. Whereas if in the meantime, it, you feel very safe watching TV because you know, no one's going to die. And the problem with walking dead is they decided to do that. So I give them points. Well, I mean, away. most of them lived and most of them live way past their <laughs> expiration date, I think, you know, and a I lot think, of them I think past the time they did in the graphic novels, even. So they're actually kind yeah. of kind for a lot of them. But anyway, talking about last two of seasons us. too long. Let's talk, let's talk about, about last, last of us. I love the what I'll say about yeah. the last of us season one was you, it really did move and you did feel okay, they're yeah. going to this uh, community. What's going on with this community? They're gonna meet up with these people on the road. What's that about? They're gonna go yeah. into St. Louis or Kansas City, whatever city yeah. that was. What was that about? So that's cool. And I and cool. we'll see what I'm, I'm excited to see the teaser trailer because yeah. Kathy, you're saying it's not it's a different vibe or something's different about it. I'm interested we'll to see, see what that difference is. Mm -hmm. All right, we shall see. A, yeah. Let's take a look at the teaser trailer for The Last of Us Season 2. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Poor Kathy. I know. Okay. Are we ready? Yep. Yeah. All right. Everybody quiet. Quiet. <laughs> quiet on the set. Quiet. All right. <laughs> oh, you want to start or what? Let's try something different. You can't heal something unless you're brave enough to say it out loud. Say the thing you're afraid to say. Say it out loud, no matter what it is, no matter how bad. What did you do? Oh, that's cool. Ooh, this comes. Can you imagine? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I am so worried. I don't, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Did that feel like season two as far as, I mean, uh, you know, season two of the game? Did that give you the, the vibes of that? Like it's it they're, they're in this, they're I mean, in this did you, town. Did you recognize things? Yes. From I the did. game? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. So <laughs> they're in this, they're in this but town. But you know, they could pull yes, out of it. <laughs> if they're smart, they'll improve it and they'll go, I'm going to fuck with you and put this in the show. And then you're going to be like, ah, 
I made it better. And you'll be like, oh, thank God they changed it. Well, that's the thing is they can, you know, they can change it's things. Based, it's based, and, on the, based on the game. It's not the I game. mean, technically, right. the integrity of the property, you have to do some of the major beats or you're sort of in a way, I mean. But at the same time, I, I feel like, and, you know, I'm talking around it, even though, you know, it's been in the game is out there. Everybody knows it's going to happen. Yeah. I just don't want to spoil it. People who haven't played the game don't know and don't right. look, don't look like, for it. It's like, like just me. don't. Exactly. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, what I'll say about it was like, I loved sort of, I love the big expanse of this show. It, yes. feel, it doesn't feel set bound at all. I was watching for the millionth yeah. time last night, the thing, John Carpenter's the thing. And yeah. it just feels like you're in the Antarctic, you know, or it's, uh, Antarctica. So it's amazing. And that feels like you're somewhere out in the Rockies or yeah, it's Canada beautiful. or whatever. So I love that. Uh, the, the town looks like a, you know, a place that could be, you know, sort of, yeah. you know, that's chain link fenced off, but, and there's always that threat out there. So all that looks good. looks like, yeah. uh, Elle has a possible girlfriend or friend who was looking yeah. at her, you know, so, and then Catherine O'Hara is in it, which is interesting. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Great yeah. There. That's awesome. Yeah. And yeah. Pedro Pascal, Pascal seems very sort of like just going to sit there. Very listening to her melancholy. <laughs> melancholy very sad. I know. It's all, you know, and I, I like too because I feel like if you were, and they did a little bit of this, I mean, we keep talking about Walking Dead, but they did a little bit of Walking Dead where I feel like we would kind of revert to the Wild Wild West in a way because, you know, you would you would have to use horses because you won't have fuel. You know, right. you, you have to make your own ammunition. So it all gets very, very like gritty and basic, which I really like also. But you have this massive threat. And I don't even know how you could ever get rid of it without technology. So it's like you're kind of just surviving. So that shot of those zombies running like oh across God, the snow, epic. like nothing can stop them. You know, it's not right. they don't even get cold, you know. Exactly. Right. So that's very cool. And I just like the whole Western vibe of it. And the music was perfect in this. I love the sort of haunting little like they didn't make it amped up it was just very quiet and beautiful and and yet they had these big action sequences but they kind of pull back a little bit and make it almost like a distant memory in a creepy way so yeah i thought that was a beautiful trailer for it again i loved season one i thought it was fantastic i thought i was afraid that we're all like kind of burned out on zombies and we'd be kind of like uh not right. more zombies but they did such a great job and you have a great showrunner and he's not he's not afraid to lean into the stuff that's unpleasant it's not just a crowd pleaser they really do try and do different stuff for me the core of the show is bella ramsey i think she is yeah. a really great young mm -hmm. performer and your eyes are just drawn to her and yeah. she is she's got so much like bubbling inside you know she's one yeah. of those actors that can that see it it makes it effortless i guess makes it seem like acting is so easy because she seems like she's just real you know, and that's yeah. that's yeah. a thing that you that you really um, f that you latch on to in a yeah. story like this. You you have a character that you latch on to. She's the humanity of the story. She like is. you, she's the one that like has the feelings and wants you know and, and stuff. And yeah, Pedro Pascal's character. Yeah, her, and he's more just sort of like this, you know, this uh, this hu this uh, husk of a person yeah. who lost everything. Yeah. You know, it was so like you feel for that. Like he's yeah, yeah. just there to help her. He, it, I feel like his character was sort of like his goal became, you know, because of things that happened to him in the past. His goal became to be protector. You know, he doesn't really care about himself. He wants to make sure that she goes on. You know. Yeah, and that's kind of an interesting type of character too, where you know yeah. that he's kind of got this almost like a selfless, sacrificial kind of presence in in there. And well, he has a pain. Be, he has a pain he has, because he lived a life before this happened, right? And she she was kind of born into it in a way, like you know, it kind of happened. So right. she's sort of, sort of in a way used to it and tough, and and used to dealing with where he's a little more. Like he gutted. lost his daughter, he, you know, in the first episode. Yeah, he lost, lost so him. much. Yeah. Oh my god, that opening scene! Holy shit! The, very uh, excited, I, also very okay. scared. I can't wait for it. I mean, uh, I thought it was just really gripping stuff uh, the mm. first season, and I'm going to go in saying, okay, you know, I'll I'll, I'll keep in mind Kathy's reservations, but still go in full bore and see. What oh yeah, happens. I'm watching it. I'm yeah. watching. <laughs> I, might I like Kathy was talking about the music, and I like the I like the music in there. It was very subtle, and and uh, it was kind of guitar th guitar yes. themed. Beautiful and they music. show them playing a couple of really nice guitars, yeah. which I guess would all be free in that time. 
Why not? And um, just find a music <laughs> store and get your your John Lennon Gibson yeah, and yeah, get the best guitar. Don't get the uh, eighty dollars. Can't get an electric guitar though. There is no electricity, so right. sure. <laughs> everyone's playing acoustic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. But that's that's a thing. I think would be. I mean, that would certainly. If I lived in that world, I have guitars all over the place. Oh, back here. Yes. If I was in that world, that would be my saving yes. saving thing. Music is music is something that that you can bring you can bring over from the old world you know it, it's a thing it's a thing that still exists in right. in no matter what apocalypse you're in you can you still have that if you if you can play music you know you can and bring even it if and you it's, could it's, you could pick up and leave really fast at least grab one yeah i'd, br yeah. I'd bring my triangle you have to be to. able to move on a minute's notice <laughs> Leave it would, and then just go into the next town and get another three thousand dollar guitar. If you more guitars. No, I would just get, bring my triangle with me. You know. Yeah. <laughs> a triangle. <laughs> oh man, you know, <laughs> it's an portable <laughs> instrument. Yeah, it's an orchestral <laughs> instrument that you can or my kazoo or, or juice harp or yeah. something like that. That's right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Can, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Last of Us season All two. Right. That's the trailer. Let's know what you think. Uh, it, also, comment on Kathy's, con you know, idea of, of the. But don't um, post spoilers. Just don't talk spoiler. about. Spoilers. No, just say just like, do you case. agree with Kathy if you actually <laughs> you know, played the game? You know, should she go back and finish it? Is there some redemption? Is there yeah. something that the show, the, the game brings back at the end? I've that's heard worth mixed. Doing? I heard okay. some people saying, let me know what you think when you play it like that to the, uh -huh. yeah, it was great. Or eh, it was, wasn't was as good as the first one. I, I've uh -huh. heard all of them. So okay. you never know. I'll there, probably go back. Choice? Are there, is it the kind of game that gives you choices? Like, can, is there a possibility that someone else playing the game could have a different no. result that would be, it's not one of those games. It's, it's not sort like, of open world, but you're still fulfilling a storyline. Gotcha. So something something inevitable happens to every person that plays this game. Yeah. You can't you can't control that aspect of it. And this happens in the beginning of the game, and you don't have to wait oh. for it. It happens right away. Oh, it's Ooh. like in a cutscene or something. So. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, All right. It, well, that's why I'm hoping they'll push it back a little so that we can have more fun and not worry uh, so much. Oh shit! I have a feeling I know what happened. Yeah. But no, I'll everybody knows. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks All right. for watching. Take care. <laughs> See you good. soon. Ha, ha, ha.